Welcome back, friends. Special thanks to all the new people. We're glad to have you along here. But, as promised, we're gonna do some six-way action here. First real time running this in some decent wood. We got a whole lot of nice ash there. All about perfect size for the six way. So we're gonna see how fast this takes us. I'm kinda still on one hand here. The other finger still can't bend it, but I can use that hand more, so that's good. But it's gonna be a little different. We'll just put you on a time lapse so I don't need to move the camera to give us a pretty accurate time because this is about as close as we'll get all the wood. So it'll give us a pretty accurate time on how fast you can do a cord, a full cord with the six way and nice straight ash. Uh, so I might throw some bigger pieces to the side just, just to keep it fair. So yeah, we'll set you on a decent angle for the time lapse. I'll have to move the trailer once or so. But if the elevator jams, I'll just pause the timer. I'll have a timer running on my phone. I'll just pause the timer so I can unjam the elevator because that's not the Easton Maid's fault. But if the Easton Maid breaks, then I'll let you know. So I'll get you guys set up and we'll just get to splitting. Oh, I did fill the tank of fuel so we shouldn't run out this time. And the elevator runs on electric, so we're good to go. All right, let's get you set up. I tell you what, if that doesn't impress you, the elevator didn't jam. What are we running? 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Looks like the cooler. The cooler didn't even turn on. And can you uh, guess the times here? Open up the phone. 32 minutes and 30 seconds. So that, that included moving the truck and everything, so. And I had one piece get stuck in the elevator. You can probably see me playing with it. It was just thumping in there, making a weird noise. I'll show you. But so far, this is like the sixth cord without a jam. But it was just a little, a little stringy piece like this. 
it got caught up in there and every paddle was hitting it on the way to the ground. But that's a trailer load in 30 minutes. We'll just rake it down nice and it'll be nice and even. A few pieces here spilling over the back. I pulled ahead a little too far. I pulled ahead a little too far, but it's only like 10 or so. But here's what my grizzly bars are doing. So that's in one cord of wood. It gets all this out. So they really do work for a simple contraption of scrap steel and some rebar. So I just wanted to do a timed video and focus on the speed. And it's not like they were all the same rounds. I was sending some small ones through, so we could have shaved a few minutes off if they were all like perfect, perfect uh, 12, 12 inch pieces or 15 inch pieces. So I think the 12 to 15 inch rounds, like that one right there. And these ones here, those are like the perfect, the perfect for the six way. If you're sending it, sending the the four inch pieces through it kind of it's just like a, a waste of time really but boy that impresses me 32 minutes for a trailer load which is a cord a cord in that trailer at least and I'm really happy with this elevator I'll show you another tip trick so putting my elevator on I leave a two inch space right here and you can see all the stuff it separates just at the front here with that little two inch gap there's another half wheelbarrow load just right here coming through all the fines so between this so between that and the grizzly bars i'm getting a good chunk of it i'd say 60 70 percent yeah it's pretty good i think That should be all you want to know on a 1222 with the six way. That's real world, real world speed. None of this, none of this perfect wood. This is just trees, just a bunch of park trees we took down. So it's all different sizes, it's some naughty stuff. It's not all the same size, all this clear. It's not all clear and it's not all the same size. So it's more of a real world real world test and that's one person running the 1222 so i think if you had two people one setting them on the the log lift as you're going and you can keep that ram moving you don't need to stop it or it doesn't need to sit idle ever you could probably shave five minutes off three to five minutes let's say so you're getting cl darn, darn close to that 25 to 28 minute mark. Oh, the uh, fuel tank was full. So for one cord, let's see how much fuel we used. So it's about here. It's still at the bottom of the filter. So I'd say it's there. So we used a quarter, a quarter to a third, a quarter to a third. So, so I would say for a tank of fuel on the 1222, if you're running in straight stuff like this, you'll get three to four cord and you go through more cord, of course, if you're you're fighting funny rounds or doing that stuff that takes more finagling. Oh, and look at that. We hit our 50 hour mark just now. Or it wouldn't have been just now, it would have been the last load I hit it because that's 50.9. So, time for an oil change. 
50 hours on this thing since I bought it because I put the hour meter on when I bought it and I think I got it it had around 50 to 100 hours on it so I hope you guys hit that subscribe button down below maybe that'll help me get a haircut make sure to share it if you like because we got more of this coming next one will be more six-way action we'll get a little more in depth with the video here or in the next one but this one was just simple and sweet so thanks for watching stay safe we'll catch you in the next one